What is going on, my everythings? It is your girl, Janiqua 8, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. Y'all, y'all about to be celebrating on a big thing, the Ten of Cups. This is like your happily ever after that is here in your energy. All right, so let's tap in Archangel Michael and Alexwa. Please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as I tap in. To the most important messages surrounds in this energy. Somebody, somebody about to come in and be a knight in shining armor. Whether this is a friend, whether this is a family member, whether this is a co-worker, whether this is somebody that you met, whether it's a romantic partner, because you never know what it is. This is a knight of wands. This is somebody that is also on a journey. This is somebody that is also creative and passionate about what they want. All right. This is somebody that is also trying to find themselves, find their belief, and on the right path, and figuring things out, ready to travel, all right? And they coming right towards you, all right? So assistance, and, 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 and whatever it is, somebody is about to come to you, all right? It's like a messenger, a good messenger, your knight in shining armor, all right? Meaning they're going to save the day, whoever it is. All right, they're going to save the day. They're very passionate about this. All right, passionate about this journey towards you. All right, literally the queen of pentacles. This is somebody I want to invest in you and work. Okay, literally, this is somebody that really want to invest in you and work. All right, like they, they might, they, you might have a startup. Right, and they see like they see your products. They see the work that goes into it. They might see the spiritual benefits. That you can receive from getting your products and your services. And somebody want to invest into you. All right. Somebody also has been learning from you. All right. But you are in your queen of pentacles. You are established in life. You're on your purpose. All right. You're very grounded on your in your mission right now. All right. You're dealing with a lot of herbs. So that means that you are connected with nature. You're finding a deeper meaning to these herbs. And how they could benefit you naturally. All right, you guys could be making different herbs or different things or helping people um, to heal in natural ways based off of your service. All right, but this is about to be your night in Shauna Alma when it comes to elevating to the next level in your career, in your lifestyle, and in your progress. All right, that you've put in, you've produced back to Mother Ka. All right, so this is literally about to be your night in Shauna Alma. Whether it's a relationship, you finally got time to invest in a relationship and have fun. This person is because you, you, you the queen of pentacles, so you like staying in the house. You know, this, you, you, you probably have a hair wrap on most of the time. You invested in your craft. So if this is a love relationship, this person is going to come in and sweep you off your feet. They are going to make you have so much fun and forget about working so hard. They are going to lift you up. They're going to do so much fun things. They're going to want to do so much fun things. All right. Um, if this is a work-related thing and they are going to want to um, gift you something or donate. All right. It is going to be that resource that you need or that contact. Or you run it into somebody that you need that can help you. That was that main resource and that key. To getting you to that next level. So it could be a whole bunch of different things. But this is going to be a night in Shana Alma coming in. And I feel like you waiting. All right? I feel like you wasn't searching for something. You was doing what you, you was too busy pre uh, prepping yourself. You was too busy getting in position. So now you comfortable. You deserve whatever it is that's coming in. From this night in Shana Alma. Because that's exactly what it is. That's what you're going to feel like. Like, wow, this person came in at the right time and gave me everything that I needed. All right? You already comfortable and established and deep-rooted. All right? In your foundation. Okay? So this is well-earned and deserved. And this is something physical in this earthly realm. Okay? What else does my everything needs to know? Please and thank you. Oh my gosh. This is somebody that you hang out with. Um, this could be a friend that want to see you happy. All right. But look, remember what I said? Your night is shining armor. So this is somebody that you know. 
You be around this person. All right, you hang around this person. All right, like y'all really, really, it looks like live extravagant. <laughs> you hear me? When y'all go out, y'all go out and y'all do it big. All right, nice, elegant, fancy. Okay, it's giving you fancy, huh? Go Cinderella, go Cinderella, yeah. Y'all, this could be a homeboy. This could be a cousin. This could be a relative. This could be somebody that you met. This could be a homeboy and you dating his friend. And they like really fuck with you. It's looking like you respect yourself. All right, but whatever it is, you about to receive. Somebody is coming in. Somebody like the way you carry yourself. All right, with this Knight of Cups, you got the Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups. So not only is somebody passionate about you, somebody love you. Somebody genuinely want to see you happy because we don't know if it's that one or if it's that one. You know what I'm saying? Somebody respect you. All right, because you respect yourself. All right, it's looking like you're not one of the people, the Queen of Pentacles that's trying to get people for their money. So a lot of men probably like to have you around because you down to earth. You know what I'm saying? You're not disrespecting yourself and trying to wear, you know, just stuff that is going to grab, you know, unwanted attention. You know, it's the way you carry yourself. All right. Wow. Yeah, they defending you or something. Y'all, I don't know who you are, but you, you, you got a lot of men defending you. All right. You got a lot of men and women defending you. Like, you the queen. All right, you the queen. You the pinnacles. You queen of pinnacles. All right, you unbothered. You're focused on so many different things. You're talented. You're crafty. All right, you're heal. You're healing. All right, you might be some sort of practitioner. So you're invested in a lot. All right, I'm pretty sure to be having people coming against you. All right, I feel like you've earned respect from a lot of people that is willing to defend you in certain ways, however that manifests, all right? And I'm feeling a lot of people are seeing that. People are seeing that people are willing to defend you, all right? Men and women, and they don't like that, especially when another woman, when you are a woman and another woman is defending you against other women or other men, they don't like that. They don't like women empowerment, baby. All right? And then men? Men? Because this is like the bros. Like, this is like you could bring your masculine around your, your bros. Like, you're really, really telling people, like, there's really friendships in men. Like, it don't always have to be sex. It don't always, you don't always have to go around your, your homeboys with your titties out and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's respect. All right? So, you gain a lot of respect because of the way you carry yourself. All right, and what you do for work, because the Queen of Pentacles is a go-getter. The Queen of Pentacles is a hustler, but they are a natural hustler. They're, they're gifted with certain talents that they're always making money just creating something. All right, um, but this, this, this uh, men and women that are defending you right now as the Queen of Pentacles. All right, this could be defending you in your line of work, Queen of Pentacles. All right, but there's definitely protection here. And this is physical protection. This is here on earth. You might even feel more empowered. You might even feel more inspired that you finally got the right people around you, men and women. You know what I'm saying? You probably waking up feeling more vibrant knowing that people got your back. You know what I'm saying? Like that feel good. So that's what I see. All right, whoever it is, whoever is against you, all right, they are being let. They are being they are being shown that you are not to be played with and that you have people that are willing to defend you. Some they are being shown that by these people, specifically women. Women. Hmm, yeah. Look, excuse me. Women. All right, literally. For real. Yup. Let me tell you, it's something about, you know, you are gaining a lot of attention online. All right. Um, but there's somebody jealous. 
all right? Whether it be a friendship and some you giving a little bit more time to another friend, all right? And they don't like that. You on Instagram or you on, you know, just anything that make your day go by a little bit faster when you have time. They don't like that. They feeling sore. So you see how their hands closed, all right? Other people are comfortable. Other people love you. Other people are inspired. Other people loving what you, how you're presenting yourself, I guess, on any type of social site or whatever that they see on the phone. Maybe even conversations. It's looking like you're bringing out laughter. You're bringing out joy. You know, look, everybody that want to be around you, like you cool. All right. And you got your own money and you got your own motion and you got your own setup. All right. You, you in your own lane. Okay. Literally. A lot, this person is mad that the spotlight is on you, that you really, really cool. This is this has nothing to do with no sex appeal. Somebody mad at the fact that you are being defended. You are being protected by not only one, a lot of people. Okay, a lot of people. 1122 on a timestamp. Hold on, let me get my... I'm going to just hurry up. If the reading cut off, because I don't want to open up the door and the my, my charger is in the bed. Let me try to connect and pass. All right, Spirit, give me more on this Queen of Pentacles, please, and thank you. Y'all, somebody is salty. That people's offending you probably online. People's offending you in a physical, in a spiritual. All right, you got a lot of supporters here. All right, look, everybody is focused on you. At work, I think that you do something that is attracting a lot of attention. All right, and uh, healing. The Queen of Pentacles, healing. All right, making different things that is assisting people on a journey probably. You probably um, are a reader, but that's given how priestess, so not really. probably do something other than that. All right, but there's a lot of people focused on you, obsessed only eyes for you right now all right it's like you are the main character spirit give me more on this night of night of wands this could be this person that's focused on you like somebody is stuck on you oh my gosh anxiety somebody is nervous oh my gosh this is somebody you let go all right, so this is what's going on. You are being protected against a masculine. All right, probably from your new masculine or whatever masculine. All right. It could even be a, a masculine that you've been dealing with. And, and they are protecting you from somebody. All right. This, this Knight of Wands that's coming in, they coming in at... They coming in or they are they are wanting to come in your direction because not only because you're the queen of pentacles, not only not only you y'all could be connected. This knight of wands could be connected to you through friendships. All right, and you may have let them go. Okay, you may have let them go. And when you let them go, they lost a lot of opportunities for some reason. Because if y'all was friends, right? If y'all was friends. All right, with other people that knew you and people are defending you and certain things because they knew that, that you wouldn't do that or something like that. They know that this person is suffering with money and work and going through a lot of anxiety and fears with the economy. Okay, they know that it's something not right about how this person is trying to pursue you. All right, so wow, that's what I got, y'all. This, this... Because everybody know you in your queen of pentacles. Everybody hang out with you probably down to earth or those that do. And you may have gotten to a relationship with one of your homeboys, homeboys, or just however that go. Because you ain't fucking your homeboys, right? So, that probably didn't go too well. Or they probably just been a separation where. And it's pro this knight of wands is probably a little salty because they coming out as the knight of wands. So, the knight of wands is now giving me. An energy where they thought that they was hot shit. And they thought that they was probably 
going to probably talk about you in a wrong way to have people defend you like this. Okay? But that's what it is. These people are defending you when it comes to this um, Knight of Wands. All right? Somebody that you know. And um, this person is worried. This person is going through a downfall. All right? Wow, that's what I got because they... Uh, you let go. They having a hard time with being rejected. They can't let go of something. All right? Yeah, long term. This wasn't even long term for y'all. But whoever you are, you probably dated somebody based off of who you knew. All right? And you just probably realized that it wasn't what you wanted. It wasn't no. It wasn't going to go far. Like, it wasn't no long term. You probably wasn't even looking for that. You probably just wanted to date. You know, you probably like, oh, your whole boy, you know, bring your whole boy, but nothing serious. Let's go out. Let's, I want to dress up. Something like that. You know, like dating. And somebody was probably expecting long term. All right? And that probably, or you, right? Right? Let me put it this way. Or you, right? You could have been expecting long term. And it was simply... You wasn't going to receive it from this person because this person was suffering with their finances, with their career, with their belief, with their purpose. All right. So they, they couldn't give you what you was looking for. So that's that's how you date and you let go. And this person probably is going through a hard time with letting you go. All right. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, look. You like, I needed space. Like, this is going way too far, y'all. This is what I'm picking up. I don't know if this was a homeboy or a homegirl. All right? But you met this person through a homeboy or a homegirl. All right? I'm getting you are somebody that probably is single or was single. All right? You know what I'm saying? Because you probably cuffed up now or not. I don't know. But you give it Queen of Pentacles, so you got a lot of friends. All right, you very well, you are respected as far as getting money. All right, naturally, you know, not doing nobody dirty. You're reliable. You know, you just are all around grounded and good person. All right, very down to earth. All right, somebody that's very independent, successful. All right, and know how to have a good time. So you met this person through your friend. All right, and something happened to where you probably are in your queen of pentacles you are expecting long term especially in a relationship a lot of you guys probably are learning how to date but as far as being intimate with somebody you like if i'ma do that i'm expecting way more than short-term commitment all right and i feel like instead of putting that responsibility on the other person you watch right you date you go out a couple of times right and you observe Okay, and I feel like you observed a lot of things that this person was going through in their life. All right, and that's a personal problem. Money issues, the economy, worrying, fears, all right, all of that, that's personal issues. So as a mature person and you on your journey, you know, you just figuring out because you're not worried about no money. Right now, you have time to invest in whatever it is that you want to do, especially if it's going to be romantic or anything like that. You're looking for long term. All right. It's too much diseases out here. OK, so I feel like once you see like this person probably looked good as hell. That's probably one of the reasons probably why you wanted to dress up. Oh, yeah. All right. He's good. I, you know, like just have fun, you know, so this probably this person probably had a nice call. Or this person probably had a rental. I don't know. This person probably um, looked good. Because, it's you know, the Nine of Wands looks good. But when you started to see the real, all right. Um, or even your friends probably try to put you on. All right. But whatever it is, you seen. And you was like, you know what? I'm going to take um, my energy back. I'm kind of I'm gonna kind of close that door. I I have the key and I have the opportunity to date you and to see what it's like. But I don't want to pursue. I don't want to go all the way in. So I'm gonna close this door. All right. And somebody's finding it hard. All right. Because imagine you're dating somebody's friend, right? And they don't want to talk to you no more, right? And you be a little salty trying to get those people against that friend, and they like. I'm not turning against my friend because y'all don't date no more. I was their friend before probably you was even um, dating them. You know what I'm saying? So it, I think it went bad 
when this person probably tried to turn people against you or probably try to lie in any type of way because y'all weren't dating no more. And they feel real crazy because what they thought was going to go on their side, what the people that they thought that was going to side with them actually sided with you. All right, because I feel like this is your homegirls, and I feel like now this is probably your homeboy, like, introducing y'all. Like, all right, this my homegirl, this my homeboy. First of all, they look corny anyway. <laughs> I don't care, y'all. I love y'all. All right, they look scared as fuck. You look like you was too woman for them. In you was too much woman for them anyway. All right, you all looking at them like, all right, I'm ready to chill. I'm ready to have fun with the champagne. This person is just looking straight. So I feel like it went completely left when they tried to say anything other than the truth about why y'all split or anything. Why would you even, they did that, they did that on themselves because it's looking like you was private about it. You released and you let go. You moved on. So, and you got, you in the queen of pentacles, you could still good. So I think that they were salty. Because they couldn't let it go, all right? And they literally just tried to speak on your name in front of your friends. The one that actually introduced you guys or was the, like, middleman, all right? And they they see how much you respect it. You see, like, if they are friends, right? And y'all still friends on the phone, all right? And they salty, like, uh, why are you still friends with them? This is a whole bunch of salty energy. Okay, so wow, that's what's going on. Oh, Spirit, give me more on this Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. See, what's going on is if you had, if you slept with this person, they can't get enough of you. It's like, I'm here. <laughs> I'm not even going to say that. But um, they can't get enough. They can't get enough of you. All right, it is your energy. They are physically, sexually attracted and remote, um, emotionally attracted to you. I said remote. It's like you turn them on. Okay, literally. They are attracted to you. Passionate, passionate. All right, but you, you were too, you were too aware of the illusions being painted. Like this person was trying to paint a picture to probably try to, you know, for some guys, they don't say it, but they are a little intimidated by a woman and their queen of pentacles energy. You got a well-established life. You got a career. You got a um, consistent income. You could do what you want. So uh, instead of not being, you know, uh, not that's a personal problem, they cast illusions and make you try to, to, to manipulate you into thinking like they have more than what they have or they are at a higher level in career or something like that. And it's not. And I feel like before I even got again, because you could see it, I feel like this was like dating. All right. So you think that things were not what they seem. So before, you know, it got crazy. You said no, and this person can't deal with rejection. Yeah, this person loved you. Y'all, y'all, y'all may have a little stalker on your hand. This person probably want to send you flowers. This person loves you, all right? But that's what happens when you meet a divine feminine energy. This person would never forget you, all right? While you over here moving on because... You're not out here doing nobody dirty. But you're not out here judging nobody for, for making a wrong decision with you either. They'll pay. And this is how they play. And they cannot move on. Or it's, it's, it's challenging for them, should I say. Because everybody should be able to move on. All right? It's challenging for them. They never felt this type of love. All right? That's what it is. Yeah, look. they they Yo, the, the thing is, something is hitting him. All right? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. I'm just making sure I'm saying it right. Something that's hitting him to where he feel like you was the chance to rewrite the love story, his love story. 
all right? You was a chance for him to do it right with, and he completely... I don't know what... I, you know, I can't tell y'all what he did. Maybe it. Maybe he didn't do nothing to you, right? Maybe you were so rooted in your foundation that when you looking for certain things in a man or a woman, all right, you know that if they have it or not. It doesn't take you years and years for you to know if that man or that woman has what you want, all right? And before I get that far, you got to have the ability to say, you know, this is not working for me and let it go. So maybe this man didn't do nothing to you. Maybe this man just had and showed you what they, how they were living and what their reality was. And it was infested with a lot of money worries, a lot of anxiety around uh, the economy. And they, 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 were, they, they were in a state of uncertainty about their life. How the fuck you going to be in a Queen of Pentacles energy and everybody? You got good friends, homeboys, homegirls. You got people willing to defend you. You you doing you doing the right things and you get with somebody that you clearly see the red flags. All right? God always going to show you those red flags about how this person is really living. Fuck how they dress. Fuck how they look. The way you know how somebody is going through this and uncertain of their life is if you paying for something all the time or if they not even offering or if it's just, it's just shit that don't even probably require money that they can't even give. Those are red flags. So instead of trying to help somebody, you said, you know what? I can't do this right now. This is too much personal shit. And you can't play the victim all the time. Like, uh -uh, I can't do this. That is very powerful that you make the choice to love your motherfucking self. All right, it's more fish in the ocean. <laughs> All right, so this person thought that, yeah, it was like now they feel like you are their dream. All right, so wow, that is crazy. All right, so what's the closing out messages for my everything? It's just hitting somebody hard that is, and, and it's dealing with friendship. So um, it's not like they could just forget about you. <laughs> I'm seeing, maybe that's why it's easier when you out of mind, out of sight. But these people are talking about you in a good light. They are actually defending you. <laughs> oh my God, short term. They are having a hard time that you are okay with being, this is overreacting now, okay? <laughs> You're okay with being that short term. Like what is short, like one night stand or a fling? All right, for a lot of you guys, you're probably mature enough realizing, like, all right, this is just not what I want. I thought about it, all right? Um, there's ways to go about doing things that you probably should have never did, all right? But everybody has mistakes. It's, it's this person having a hard time with realizing that just was just a short term. Short term, maybe there was a lesson. Maybe there, yeah, look. A irreconcilable final breakup and divorce, all right? So they, they fucked up some way. And now they want you back, all right? And now they expect that because they are a little triggered that you don't want them no more and that they keep hearing about your name, that they thought that they was going to turn yo, every, you know, y'all's friends against y'all, all right, by doing whatever that they did and it, it completely backfired on them, all right? And with that, it comes with you really, really face the reality of who you was dealing with and how much respect this person held and how much love this person has because of who they are. So you just start thinking, all right? You start realizing who this person was and what, what role they were supposed to play, all right? And a lot of people that be doing people dirty, they, they realize like, damn, I should never did that. Well, damn, you did, okay? So um, maybe there's a situation that you don't know right that's going on as we speak that you don't even gotta know right because you are being defended all right it's like you don't gotta worry about like the people that this, it starts with you my everything the people that you are surrounding yourself by is really down for you it's really that's just like if i consider you my friend right and we all in a room or you not there right and somebody just happened to bring up your name i'm gonna check that all right, I'm going to check that. 
All right, and there's ways to check that with without you being disrespectful. Just clearly say, yo, I'm not with Ola. That's my friend. She not here to defend it or he not here to defend it. And I would, I would like it if that won't be talking about why I'm here because that's my friend. It's certain things that you got to be willing to do if you want that same respect. All right, so the fact that you even touching people like that, all right, that means that they feel like you would do it for them. All right, so expect a lot of people defending you this week and you probably don't even know okay a lot of people are defending you against a masculine that you used to deal with that you no longer want to deal with and that you moved on from and that you literally forgotten about like literally it's like you 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 still good all right, but they are being triggered that your friends and everything is still going out with you, still having fun with you, but they are no longer invited because they've been moving salty. They done said something while they was in their feelings to disrespect you and thought it was going to go in their favor. So now they just X out of it whole because you still remain in your position as a friend. Your position is never taken as a friend because you showing up. All right, as a true friend. Okay, so... It's not hard. It's not easy to come by friends like the Queen of Pentacles. That will really, you know, create opportunities and stuff like that. So somebody is just feeling really salty and not included because they thought that just because they was around, nobody was going to hang out with you the whole time. You still in your nine of Pentacles energy. All right. Receiving from the universe. You still hanging out with your friends because they do shit to you. All right. It was just a simple relationship that didn't work out. All right, and now somebody is being shunned out and probably don't even fuck with your friends no more because they try to play you. And that's good friends that you got around you. You hear me? That's good friends to where now you'll probably hear about it a week later because this is the reading. So this is telling you what's unfolding right now and what's to come. But for you guys, all right, if y'all didn't get this reading, y'all probably will hear about this next week or the week after. Like, yo... I forgot I had to put somebody in a place. And you like, for real, that's crazy. Good looking and stuff like that. You know, not getting too much into it because the Queen of Pentacles mind her fucking business too. Okay? She minds her business. So you might hear from this, hear about this a week later. But because you have aligned, aligned yourself with people that are there to protect you in the right ways. All right? You don't even have to worry about that. Now you can stay focused on what's in front of you. And that is the power and the most important thing in, in choosing the right friends. So that way, any type of discrepancies while you're not there get handled. And you hear about that shit like later. It wasn't even a non-fact that I'll run back and tell you because it got handled. That's why you got to be watched. You got to watch bitches and, and people and masculines or whoever that's quick to come back and be like, yo, this person was talking about you, bitch. Why, why are you even so quick? What was you saying? You know what I'm saying? So these are people that's not even going to come to you immediately. They probably forgot about it. Get on the phone one day. Be like, yo, I just had to put... Because it was already done. Nipped it in the butt. So what they got to tell you for and get you riled up? That's real shit. So this is good energy. I love you guys and I hope that helps.